Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Um, Everton have announced the signing of Jonas Lersel. So, just to introduce you as well, obviously it's Tom and Max. Uh, yeah, we're, we're here to present the news to you today. How are you doing, Max? Very well, thanks, Tom. Uh, especially after our, our decent our little uh, beer at 10 last night in Manchester. Feeling a bit um, worse today. Yeah, we are. We are. I think that's a, that, that's the understatement of the century. That, <laughs> but um, yeah, we found out the news today while we were uh, sat over a Weatherspoon's breakfast, nurturing <laughs> our hangovers. Um, I got the notification on my phone that well, it's it's Everton's first bit of uh, business this summer, isn't it? He's an, you know, his uh, I think his contract runs out with Huddersfield, and he'll join the join up with us on the first of July. Um, it's 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 an interesting it's a really interesting transfer I think from from Brands uh, and Silver's perspective it just shows the the initiative and and where their heads are at obviously I mean it wasn't really a pressing concern to to get in a, a reserve goalkeeper but it it I think it's a going to be a good bit of business for us I mean he, he's thirty years old um, he's a Danish well he, he's represented Denmark once. In true, def- like in the true definition of a substitute keeper, I think he's played like forty-five minutes. Got it. Came on for Casper Schmeichel in a in a preseason in an international friendly against Scotland in like two thousand and sixteen. So he's obviously got a good understanding of the role. Um, what are your thoughts on it, mate? Yeah, it's it's not bad. Um, my initial reactions. Um, it was the Toffee Blues you called the first on Twitter, I believe. It was uh, it was our lads. Who, our sources, mysterious sources that came out with a first, and um, so we, we called it. But yeah, um, my first reaction was, um, it's literally we've pressed refresh on Stecklenberg, just mm-hmm. seven years younger, and um, that's pretty much what we've got. Like he's a, he's a decent keeper, obviously just a backup. He probably won't be play many games. Might be a cup keeper. Do we have a cup keeper? Because it seems we played Stecklenberg in the early rounds of the FA Cup when we got knocked out, and people were FA Cup, the other cup, Carlin Cup or whatever it's called now. Um, yeah. Carabao Cup. Uh, yeah, we played him. We played Stecklenberg in the early rounds, and uh, fans were happy that we uh, we we feel that the weekend side. So Pickford came looking for some of the FA Cup games, but um, so he won't play very much. But he, he doesn't look bad to be fair. He's been in a, a very struggling Huddersfield side this year, and that's that's maybe um, affected fans' perspectives of, of of him as a player. But if you exclude him from Huddersfield's woes this season, he's not a bad keeper, and to have as a backup, thirty years old is is. Not young, but for a keeper, he's, he's got time. He signed a yeah, three-year yeah. contract, so it's not bad. It's not a bad bit of business. It's obviously a free agent, and uh, we were discussing that maybe Everton will dip into the free agent market a, a little bit more this summer, um, as we'll discuss with another player on the next video. But uh, due to the financial fair play rules, but it's not a, it's not a bad transfer. It's it's, it's just it it does the job. It's just the early bit of summer business. Get get the uh, get the summer get the summer transfers going, and um, that's that's kicked it off. But uh, we put it out on Twitter as well to ask everyone what what, what you think. Um, what's everybody's thoughts on Jonas Lersel, which is interesting. Oh, the pronunciation as well. We want we're not sure. Is it Lossel or Lersel? Lossel or Lersel. I think it's Lersel. I think that's Lersel. what I'm going yeah, like, to It's like with. it's the same. It's the same letter as Hazel, isn't it? And people say Hazel, but everyone just says Ozel. So it's not going to be Lossel. It, yeah, like, I don't know, but that's uh, I don't know, but like, Lossel probably probably just get. Well, yeah, I'm sure I've heard this pronounced by commentators on the telly as well. Yeah, yeah. that's where I've got we'll, it we'll from. Try and, we'll try and not be atypical uh, British ignorance and actually try and you know go with the actual pronunciation of his name. Yes. But, yeah, what what was the uh, what was the result of the poll? It was interesting because we put one out last like not last week when when was it when the news came out? It was literally I mean uh, I did a transfer round about two days ago and we asked we did a poll there saying what do you have Jonas Lersel at Everton and it was sixty forty uh, sixty forty yes uh, with one thousand four hundred votes so it was pretty split. Um, people weren't really sure on it but we put one out today and it's been eighty seven percent yes thirty eight percent no. Um, as if to say good signing or not, and um, yeah, it's it's a very po- much more positive than initial fo- initial thoughts. I think people have looked into it more rather than being clouded by the judgment of oh he's a Huddersfield player he must be terrible. Mm. But um, th- th- we've got some comments as well. Um, you've got a you've got a few interesting ones. We we asked um, what are your thoughts on it? Um, Brian Calhoun says fine signing on a free as cover for Pickford money needed for fees elsewhere. Um, Lawrence GB says yep yeah, good setup from Steph. We'll hopefully push Pickford more now. Um, Charlie Runkle says yes, very good second goalie. Um, yeah, it just seems to be pretty positive. Is generally just uh, 
Well, a lot of stuff. The only there was one we had Mark Butler but get back in touch saying he's terrible, hoping he's he isn't needed. And um, John John from from our account got back in touch to say you must be fun of parties. Yeah, with, <laughs> with, uh, with your little response. Um, so yeah, uh, it's it's generally a positive um, reaction to Jonas Lassell or Lossell, whatever you fancy. Um, so it's not bad to be fair, but some people have said though, should we have? Because um, it was initially thought, I think it was. Portuguese reports earlier in the summer saying that Joe Virginia was going to be the backup goalkeeper next season. Should he be given a go instead? Will that halt his progress? It, it's interesting, and because obviously with this transfer, I think you, you know you're, you're, you're in the immediate aftermath. Your thoughts are, you know, what are the implications for Pickford, Virginia, uh, and Stecklenberg? It, it, you know, it's a really, it, it is by its nature an interesting, an interesting transfer. Particularly if you look at the the profile of Lersel. Um I know Virginia was. Highly thought of, but still, it's not really. And I mean, obviously, of course, you know, as a, as a youth player, to to do the, to do the double like he has in his debut season with the club, that's absolutely sensational. But still, only a young lad. And uh, with Jordan Pickford, obviously England England number one and probably our most valuable English player, with it, with, with him there, that you know, there's there's obviously an acknowledgement that there needs to be competition for places. Uh, um, obviously, it's not going to be. He's not going to step in and take his place, of course. But when I when I say the profile of him, when I've kind of compared the stats of um, of Pickford and Lersel, um, thirty one for Lersel last season. This is in the league. Thirty one appearances. He lost twenty two times, obviously, which isn't great. But I think it's just by virtue of facing such a high volume of shots that you know, obviously, as you said, the, the, obviously the first season in the Premier League for Huddersfield, they did exceptionally well to stay up. Uh, I think they got that point against Manchester City on the final day of the season, which was really good for him. But obviously, you know, not so good this season. Um, and he just seen, he, you know, he's deemed the player of, of good enough quality to return immediately to the Premier League. Um, it's not like we haven't done it before. Obviously, we bought Jordan Pickford from a relegated Sunderland side. Um, and as I was saying, really with the profile of him, it, it, it's interesting. Uh, just comparing the errors to goals, because obviously Pickford's errors for goal was. This um, the season just gone, you know, higher than any other season prior. Uh, Lersel's only had two errors leading to goals. Lersel's kept four clean sheets and made eighty-eight saves. Um, Twenty-three high claims compared to Jordan Pickford's eleven, which is interesting. Um, I know. Um, yeah, he's obviously really ta- really tall, much much taller than Pickford, and um, looks like he's got his eye on, on trying to play the ball fast. I think he's. Registered two assists in his two seasons in the Premier League, and interestingly, I think they're both against Manchester United, and he has saved the penalty. It was against Mo Salah, or albeit he did get beat three 0 but yeah, all kinds of good indications that he'll settle in well at Everton. Um, and you know, a very competent backup keeper. I think you see that dynamic across several of the top clubs. You know, it was it was the some of some of the examples you got Chelsea with him. Um, Kepper and Caballero, Caballero. Um, City. You've got Edison and Bravo. So, I mean, it's it's it, he's not a you know a, a, a star that can that's going to be you know almost like a mentor figure to Pickford because I think Pickford got his head family on his shoulders, but just you know that up in quality in second hand. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a decent little backup. It's not like it's not going to set the world alight, obviously, but it's just functional. It's it, it does the job. Um, he's not a he's not a bad keeper, but. Uh, just finally as well, what do you think it means for Stecklenberg? Is this the end? Obviously, 37 contracts not up quite yet, I don't think. But um, is this the end? Is he off this summer? Yeah, I think it is. You know, not much else to say on that really. I think it's like one year left. Um, yeah. what, what, what can you say really? I, I, I was there at the at the other when he made them two penalty saves in the one game. That was obviously his highlight of his Everton career, and you know, well done for that. <laughs> other than that, you know, not really achieved much with us, but. Yeah, I think it's just a changing of the guard in multiple positions. Yeah, that's it. That's what we think anyway of Jonas Lossel, uh, Lossel, L- Lossel, whatever you fancy. Um, but let us know, um, not just how to pronounce his name, but also what you think of the sign in, in the comments section. Let us know, like the video, subscribe to the Toffee Blues, and uh, make sure you tune into our next video as well. We're going to talk about the interest, um, or report the interest of Everton in Danny Welbeck. Which is, uh, which, which is great. We're all buzzing about that one. But we'll talk <laughs> about that in the next video anyway. Make sure you tune in. Thanks for watching. <laughs>